Hey everyone, it's Eugene. I am in my motherland, Seoul, South Korea, where they're actually handling the pandemic correctly. I'm gonna collect some of the most popular snacks here and ship them all the way across the ocean for the Try Guys and Try Wives to try at home. Today we're having some Korean snacks. Eugene was in Korea and sent us things from Korea. South Korea. Of course. We're having a real Korean moment over here in our household. Okay, we've been streaming Dynamite over and over and over again. We've become a real BTS household. You all know that I am the Jimin of the Try Guys, right? You agree? As you all know, I am Prego. And, uh, and so my snacks have changed a little bit. I say you're a big goldfish queen. Sometimes, Becky, you'll have some crackers and cheese. Now that quarantine's hit, dairy allergy out the window. We've given, we never had an allergy, we just had a... Dairy irritation out the window. A lack of tolerance for it. Will these snacks give us porcelain skin? Like, <laughs> you think that's why BTS is so beautiful? Because of the snacks? It's not the, it's not the Korean skincare, it's the snacks, right? Right. So snack number one is gokkalkon, and this is basically the American version of bugle. So you can see that you can put them on your fingers, they're super fun. Looks like corn! Corn puffs! <gasps> so you can put these on your fingers, they're bugles. like bugles. Yo, are these they Korean look, bugles? Yeah! Hell yeah! It smells like one of McDonald's the french fries. Know, it does smell like... It smells like McDonald's french fries. It smells like potatoes, but it says corn. It smells good. It smells good. Oh look, and they show you how to eat them on your fingers! Look, look. Says you could scoop shit into them. Yeah, I do have them. This guy's putting toothpaste mm. in his. He's putting soup in this? Oh. <laughs> Is it in there? It's working. Like a gusher. <laughs> that was terrible. From the finger. Mmm. Melts in your mouth. Tastes like air. Mm -hmm. I think I could eat about 40,000 of these. These are good. Uh huh. They're bugles. <laughs> There's nothing, there's nothing different about these than bugles. This is something when I first came to Korea, a lot of people try. It's kind of like the American potato chip, but definitely crunchy, good with any type of beer, soda. These are great. Oh my God. Perfect poofiness with the right amount of crunch. Not too salty. You want to eat my finger? Okay, you have to eat this one. This is weird. So romantic. <laughs> I don't like this. It's so romantic. I don't like this. <laughs> Snack number two. So we're moving on to more of a traditional snack, which is jocheong yugwa. Oh my goodness, this, I was expecting this to be heavy, like oh really? baklava or something. Whoa, whoa, that's so light. So these look like, I don't know, coconut or some sort of rice crispy. <laughs> <laughs> they're very light, <laughs> much lighter than I expected. <gasps> oh, and they're sticky. They're a little sticky. That looks good. Oh, it smells like an office depot. Oh. oh I like the bugles more. Whoa, chewy. Unexpectedly chewy. I thought these were gonna be like Cheeto puffs. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> I've never had is this a texture. <laughs> Has this styrofoam gone bad? <laughs> you ever think about biting into a cast? A cast? Yeah, you ever look at a cast and be like, I wanna bite Derek's arm. <laughs> What? I've never had that compulsion. Again, it's like, yeah, not a lot of flavor, but there is something in there that makes me go, hmm, I would like another bite, please. I don't really like this. There's there's no flavor to it. I feel like it needs like a whipped cream center or something. Is, are you guys pumpkin us? This is actually packing peanuts. And with these, it's often used with celebrations, somebody's one year birthday, really to honor ancestors. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, did I just did insult we the ancestors? I know. I like the flavor, but the texture is so odd. Do you think my teeth are gonna cut through it? And it just does <laughs> this. And then it, it reinflates. <laughs> you know, like if you could eat the packing peanuts. That would be really good for the world. This is seokgam, and of course there's a picture of a shrimp because they're basically shrimp flavored chips. Ooh, crab. Shrimp. Oh. <laughs> Prawn. Prawn. Oh, that is a potent shrimp smell. Whoa, whoa. That smells like whoa. A, something has been sitting on the counter for like four days or smells something. Smells like Long John Silver after dark. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a that's a wet market in a bag. You know what it tastes like? Mm. Over fried tiny shrimp. 
at a Long John Silver's. Mm-hmm. Ooh, and the aftertaste is like shrimp. It's shrimp. It is like fried shrimp, like you got popcorn shrimp. Mm-hmm. You know? I like them. You know. You probably are watching, you're like, shrimp chips? Gross, who wants that? You do, you goddamn ignoranus. This is some delicious shit. It really stays in your mouth, too. But it's crunchy. That shrimp flavor. It's is. salty, it's flavorful. I like it. I think it would be good with vinegar. Kind of like spud crunchies. But, <laughs> shrimp. But <laughs> this is probably not the best pre-date snack. Yeah. Stuff a bunch of these in your mouth before you go meet your Tinder girlfriend. It's just a little too heavy handed in the shrimp department for me. But keep in mind, you know, like we're we're white people. That's fair. You know, where That's it's fair. like we're we're known for having bland flavors, much to our detriment. Snack number four, choco pie. So same in Korean as it is in English. And this is really one of the most popular desserts. So you can think of it kind of like an Oreo that you would eat in the US. Choco pie! Cho cho what is it? Choco. choco pies, they're so good. <gasps> they feel like a... Um, moon pies. Moon pies. They look like moon pies. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, they look good. It smells exactly like a moon pie. <laughs> it smells... <laughs> Like right. Little Debbie. Like little oh my God, look at this texture and look at the, I mean, perfect chocolate casing. It's spongy, it's, it's spongy. chewier. Mm -hmm. The marshmallow is much more actual marshmallowy rather than like cream. Mm hmm. Mm, soft, pillowy, a nice little marshmallow center. Mm -hmm. And it's like. It's a perfect little treat, right? It's cake consistency. Straight marshmallow. I love the cookie on the outside. If I were a kid, I would flip my shit for this. I did. The things you could make your kid do. I bet you it was like. When I was learning my multiplication tables, I was having such a hard time with like eight, six, seven, eight. Mm, this was my treat <laughs> when I finished my homework. Chocolate! 10% up. They've raised the prices. And they're letting you know. <laughs> this costs 10% more than he is due. Keep buying it, please. Thank you, Korea, for giving us Choco Pies and Jimin. We appreciate them both equally. Snack five. So this is also a more traditional set. You can think of it like if you were to go to Costco, get one of those items where there's a lot of nut clusters. So these are very, very similar in concept. It's that like uh, nuts six ways. It's actually a premium Korea cracker set. Oh, they're crackers. These look like a fancy um, kind of bar set. It smells very earthy. <laughs> oh my oh. god. Oh, me. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Not quite peanut brittle. It has more peanuts. Peanut. Yeah. I don't hate it. I don't hate it, but I do fear that I'm going to lose teeth from it. Mm. Looks like Rice Krispies. Oh yeah, it's like a little Rice Krispie treat with nuts. Mm. Well, that's immediately stuck in my wow, retainer. Wow, sesame. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be the outside with sesame. No. It's nutty, it's kinda sweet. It's good, it's simple. Yeah, it's hard to tell the difference between them. Oh, oh, I like that. Oh my God. I like, mm. it's like eating a, a poppy seed bagel. Mm. Which means that it's gonna be stuck in my teeth forever. Is that anything in my teeth? Yes, a hundred percent. I feel like you'd have these at like your grandma's house. Mm-hmm. You'd have them on a plate and you'd go, oh, this one's really good. It's like not quite savory, not quite sweet. It's its own unique thing, much like my man RM, living in between the rap and idol world. So too does this snack pave its own trail. Are you making that up or do you actually know facts about RM? I know a lot about RM, test me. Zach to the seventh power. <laughs> this is goguma, which is just sweet potato. Koreans tend to like to package a lot of these types of vegetables and healthier foods to make them a lot more non-perishable. Oh boy, sweet potato. Here's what? It comes in a little what? packet. I would think of sweet potato as like a snack. They're sticky. Ooh, they're kind of like the consistency of the inside of a dried apricot. Yeah. Oh, they're kind of gooey. Yeah. Mmm. Tastes healthy, honestly. I mean, it does taste healthy. It's not too sweet, which I like. I'm super into this. Becky is going to scream. <laughs> Rebecca Habersberger is a real textured nut. You're gonna have to that for it. has a texture that. That's Whoa. a texture that I don't They know feel like do. apricots. Mm hmm. She's gonna bite right into it. Here's this, gonna be like this. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh uh. <laughs> nope. Oh, that's a texture. It's not a Becky favorite. Mm -mm. It really dries my mouth out. I, I like the crackers. I like the crackers more. This this would be a good like 
in between baby food. I'm really impressed by all the different types of flavors. Yeah. You know, that just seems like there are more different types of flavors than we have in American snacks. So if you're on a hike, if you're doing any type of outdoor activity, going camping, these are great because you don't need to store them, but they're also in little bite-sized chunks, so really easy to carry and light. Um, I would love this on a hike. Yeah. This is good, it's unique, it's whimsical, much like my man, V. He's a real sweetie. You wouldn't expect it in that packaging, but man oh man, packs a nutritional punch. I lost the thread of that metaphor. Snack number seven is yakgua. So this is one of my guilty pleasures because it's super, super sweet, super, super sugary, has lots of sugar and honey, but also more of the traditional Korean snack. So they're very pretty. They're shaped like more of a lotus flower. These look like almost gelatin-like. Yeah, oh, this is gonna be very interesting. It looks like soap. Oh, it smells cinnamon. Oh, it smells like a, a carnival. Holy shit, that smells whoa. So good. I did not expect that smell <laughs> no, at I all. No, I thought it was gonna be like fruity, it but it smells like, smells a like fried, cake. yeah. Holy. <laughs> but, wow. I love this. As a kid, I would probably take this and I'd be like, I can make a little ball with oh, it. Oh yeah, let's make some little, <laughs> little balls with it. Mm -hmm. It tastes like Someone just handed you a funnel cake. But it smells better than it tastes. Yeah. The smell it is. It smells sweeter than it unbelievable. tastes. Unbelievable. The old people like this? I can see grandpa's I going. I can see grandpa's nice loving that. Mm -hmm. Tasty, iconic, one of a kind, much like my namesake, Jimin. I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is the Jimin of foods right here. Man, can you imagine having a fresh one of these? Oh yeah. Like from a bakery, like a mom and pop place that just makes them. I wonder how you even make them. We've used these before at like funeral services, any type of celebrations. Definitely super delicious, not the most healthy. I mean, if you know, you serve this at a funeral, that would really help me through the grieving process. Yeah. Good. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. Snack number eight. Now this one, I have to prepare you, is a little bit weird, but one of my favorites, because you can see on the label here, it says ojingo, which is squid, and then dangkong, which is peanut. <gasps> peanut balls. Yeah, peanut well, there's balls. there's a little peanut man oh, on the back. He's so cute. Guys! Ah, look how so cute baby. this one is. And he's got a nut, and then something goes on top of him, and then when they close him, he smiles, and then a little squid says hello. That's oh, good. Yeah. Be good. These they're look like, fun. They're like gushers. I swear, if there is a, a shrimp flavor in here. <laughs> I, why, why else would they put a random squid on the back? You know what they smell exactly uh, like? Uh-huh. Reese's Peanut Butter Puff cereal. Yeah. Ooh, it's Christmas morning. I like it. I like the noise. Mmm. Mm. We're gonna call that a yum. Certified yum. I'm not eating it until you tell me there's no seafood. Whoa. So good. It's like peanut, no seafood. <laughs> at least, not that I can tell. They're pretty good. I'd put these on ice cream. This is good. good, yeah. This is a very fun, like, poppable snack. In these little balls, there's a delicious peanut, but also some squid flavoring. So you'll notice kind of with like the shrimp fries and some of the other snacks, there's some type of seafood component, but it's very subtle. But, but if you can't <laughs> taste it, then it just is all good. I don't taste any squid. <laughs> But then again, I've never had squid before. I don't taste any squid either. I don't know, maybe it's just the thought of there being a squid in it. I put this on ice cream. Oh, wow. That's blowing my little brain apart. I mean, there's a- It is subtle if you like suck on it. Yeah, suck on it. There's squid in there? It's like doing secret vegetables. This is secret squid. You got squid in there? Maybe. I'm just gonna pretend that there is no squid involved in this. I like it. <clears throat> I never knew I liked squid and chocolate so much. Wait, there's chocolate? There's no chocolate. I'm pretty sure there's chocolate, unless <laughs> that's the squid. It's checking off all the boxes, kind of like Jungkook. Oh, you know? here we go. He's so good at everything, so too are squid nuts. The Jungkook in my heart. Snack number nine is Mat Dong San. So this is actually our mom's favorite snack, also one of ours, and we've had them in the cupboard growing up. So if you think about like a donut, any type of peanutty type snack, it's the best of all those worlds put together in something crunchy, but chewy, but sweet and salty at the same time. Ooh, it looks incredible. It looks like a funnel cake. It looks like there's like a, a sugar sauce on it. Yeah, there's, you see the sheen? You see the sheen on this coating? I know, they kind of look like salted pretzels. It looks like they're sweating. A lot of snacks have peanuts in them. I'm noticing, right? There's peanuts. They're nuts over there. 
Very good, so. Mmm. Oh! They're like sweet. That's good. Yeah. Tastes like a sesame cracker. It tastes like the sesame mm -hmm. pretzel mm -hmm. that we have here. I need this watching TV. Ooh, actually I really like it. The oh. very end taste is like a is like a Hawaiian roll. A very sweet bread at the end um, of it all. Oh yeah. That's delicious. Oh yeah. Crunchy, nutty, sugary. This is what I wished peanut brittle tasted like as a kid. Exactly, this is everything I want out of a peanut brittle. Because peanut brittle is too hard. It hurts your teeth. Mm -hmm. But this is like a lighter version of peanut yeah. brittle. It's like peanut flexible. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. I kind of want to revive. I might say this is Jimin. This is f***ing good. Every single Korean snack you've had so far is your favorite snack. No, <laughs> it's very good though. I could eat this a lot. It's like a crunchy donut. Crunchy donuts. It seems like that could have been a thing. The final snack, number 10, is definitely traditional Korean and probably something you have not tried, but that's a variety of jerkies. So there's a fish jerky, we have here a squid jerky, and then finally another fish jerky. Whoa, what is this? No way. File fish plus jerky? There's no way I'm eating that. Oh. It's a jerky. Patty. Oh. We jerky things all the time. I've had turkey jerky, I've had beef jerky. Oh I've... my god. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that is a back's a punch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's no way Becky will like this. It's like a little waffle. <laughs> it's like a little waffle. It looks like a shoe like, tread. I don't want to eat this. But if this is what makes Jimin look so beautiful, I'm willing to have a nibble. Three, two. Cheers. Swim. Mm, the taste is not as offensive as the smell. <laughs> oh my God. I, it's not for me. Um. So these, we have a lot of memories, Eugene and I, of more of the harobojis, which are older men eating this with beer while they're drinking soju. But these are quite tasty once you get used to them, maybe a little bit more of an acquired taste. It's really chewy. It's hard, it's kind of dense. Well, we're never gonna kiss each other again. <laughs> it's not as bad as you expect. I don't like fish, and I don't like this texture. I like the fish, I don't like the consistency. Anyang means hello and goodbye, so I'm gonna say Anyang to this real quick. I can eat almost anything, but I don't know if, I don't know if I could swallow that. Well, here the next two. No! Oh, no! Squid jerky and just general generic fish <laughs> jerky. Fish. Well, this one's a peanut butter flavor, and this one is a hot chicken flavor. So I actually have not tried any of the flavored ones. Those are definitely newer, more for the younger palate because younger people in Korea tend to like a little bit more fusion flavors. Hot <laughs> chicken! <laughs> peanut butter! What's with the peanut butter squid? <laughs> oh, this one looks a little bit more. Um, easier to break off. It looks like a, the consistency of a latka. It's a little potato-y. Oh, this one doesn't smell very good. I mean, they're onto something with this squid and peanut butter combo. That is good. <laughs> you know what this looks like is um, uh, hash browns. That's what I kind of like. Peanut butter. Yeah. I can f with the squid. I'm, I'm learning like today that I like squid. So here we have a hot chicken flavored fish. This, this is smaller, it's more manageable. Looks like a plant. Uh, no, <laughs> it's so fishy. I'm, I'm like gagging just uh, watching you eat that. Oh, hmm, that's spicy. Ooh, it's really hot. Oh, f it is hot. It's oh, hot. it's really hot. It's hot. Oh, it's hot. I like it. I've been waiting for a hot snack and they delivered. They deli I think they'd over delivered. <laughs> Holy shit, that's gonna kill Keith. Only two, oh, it's very spicy. Whoa, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. The fish is not the overpowering sensation in here. Oh my God, it's so spicy. I would want a um, sandwich that was this hot. That's my flavor of hot. Mm -mm, not me. Put the whole thing in Too the hot. Put the whole thing mm, in the middle. My tongue already hurts. This got heat. This got fuego. It packed a punch much like my favorite seven boys themselves. I would say that, no, do I want to call BTS fish jerky? Well, it's the last one. This fish jerky is much like the BTS. Thanks to Eugene for giving us these snacks. And yeah. if you've got some other snacks we should try from somewhere else in the world, let us know in the comments below and we'll figure out how to get them.
Probably through the mail. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. I don't support bias culture. I think that you're forcing me to choose one. I choose them all.